guys welcome to code decode so in the previous video i have covered how to create a class or an object from a real world entity that you see around and how do we actually create an object of that class using the constructor which is the default constructor the parameterized constructor if you haven't seen any of those videos please find the links in the description below so today we will be covering the instance variables so if you remember i have shown you this particular image right so here a particular class or an object contains the states or the properties so for example this dog has color name and breed so these three are nothing but the instance variables so basically there are three type of variables in java in a, in a particular class you will find three types of uh, variables the instance variable the local variables and the static variables so today uh, we will be covering the instance variables first and what you see here is an argument here or this is the local variable which I will be covering in the next video. So currently I will be covering these instance variables. So what you see here are instance variables and these variables are defined outside any of the method or con method or constructor or any of the blocks in Java. And these instance variables are actually created when the object is created using the new keyword and destroyed when the object is destroyed. So in Java, object destruction is uh, something which is internal to Java and garbage collector does that. So as of now, you don't have to worry about these heavy words like what is garbage collection, how the objects are destructed and everything. So I will be covering that in very details in the later videos when we will be covering the memory management for the Java. So currently you, you should understand this instance variables first. So instance variables are created whenever we create an object with a new keyword. So whenever you create an object of this doc class with a new keyword, all these three instance variables will actually get the memory. So in the main class, when I, when I do dog equals to new dog. So currently it's we are giving color also, but if you don't give color or we have the default constructor also, then also these three instance variables will get memory uh, in the uh, memory of a particular computer. So these three things will have some default value whenever you create an object with a new keyword. And these uh, values are actually predefined, which I will cover in the upcoming videos. So uh, why do we actually need these instance variables? So currently you can see that whenever you need to define a particular class, you always need some properties of that object or a class. But the, um, like you can create a local variable also. So why do we actually need the instance variable here? Because if you have to, because these local variables are something which is being created when this method scope starts and method scope or the life ends. So if you want this color to be like uh, to be used in multiple methods, like I want to use this color here also and here also in two, two methods, then I'll be using an instance variable. Now, whenever a object is created, the memory is actually divided into two, three paths. So I'll cover that in memory management, but currently you understand that an object is always created in heap memory. That is a part of a memory, heap memory, that is a dynamic memory for us. So whenever you create these instance variables, these instance variables will get memory in the heap area. And whenever your object is garbage collected, so whenever you do, to whenever you create Tommy, right? So whenever you create dog Tommy equals to new dog, then the color name and breed will, in will get initialized with a default value, which is empty string as of now. So if you want to see like here you have created the color as black but name and breed should be null so if i try like printing something like tommy dot uh, control space i'll get breed so if i do this and oh, sorry if i print this i'll print this with uh, like syso control space and Tommy don't breed. Then what do you think will happen? I have initialized the color as black. So that's okay. But what will like I haven't initialized anything for this breed. I haven't say what is Labrador. What is it? So what do you think will happen? So let's see. I'll run this class. Run as simple Java application. 
now you see it's null can you see here so whenever you initiate or initialize a particular variable the values for these string classes is always the default value is always null so whenever you create a instance variable make sure that you create an instance variable only and only when this is to be used across multiple methods and not only in one single method since these variables are accessible in each of these methods say for example breed right so if i say here as breed and semicolon with system dot out dot println it will not give me an issue and similarly i do this here also in barking so can you see any compile time error so these variables are something which is being used in multiple methods without any issues so whenever i try calling wig and barking both breed and breed will be printed similarly with color if i do this with color then even that will be shared so just remember this thing that whenever you want to create anything which is shareable with multiple methods and blocks in java then only you should create a memory for instance variable else your memory will be wasted because these instance variable will get memory as soon as you create an object of this doc class and will be destroyed only and only when the object of this doc class gets garbage collected then only your th these variables will free your memory and if these instance variables increases in your program you might get me out memory out of reach issue or the errors and i will cover all these kinds of errors in the uh, upcoming videos so make sure that you create instance variable only on only when it is you it is being shared with multiple methods now one important thing with instance variable is that it can have access modifiers now you don't know the access modifiers right so i'll cover that in the upcoming video but as of now you just remember this point that you can provide access modifiers so there are four types of access modifiers the default one which is here you as there is no in, uh, access modifier another one is private another one is public and the, the third the fourth one is protected so i'll i'll tell all of the all of, about all of these in the upcoming videos but as of now understand that we can provide these private protected also as the access modifiers in all of these instance variables and in the uh, next video when i'll be covering the local variables i'll show that these uh, access modifiers are not applicable on local variables so this is a very big difference between an instance variable and a local variable and the last but not the least that instance variables are directly called by the variable name in a static block so for example i'll as of now i'll remove these we don't want these so if i have a main class right so if i want to access this instance variable in a static method you cannot do this until unless you create an object of it and with that object you can do the dot operator and call the variable name but if it is an instance method simple method like here this is simple method barking you can easily call this without any a dot operator or you don't have to create an object for the same so that's all about the instance variables if you have any of the doubt in any of these uh, one more thing one important thing that these instance variables are declared here and used here right i can also do this that i can cut from here and i can paste here so have you seen there is no compile time error so in and i have used this color here so i can declare it afterwards and i can use it even before so this this is from the interview perspective this is a very important point as the pro, uh, interviewer might try to like modify these things in your uh, code and ask like does this compile or not so if if it is the, if this dot this color is a local variable and if you try to use it first and declare it later on it will give you compile time error but if it is an instance variable and if you declare it later but use it even before declaring it this is possible 
so be- why why is that possible because this particular thing gets memory as soon as object is created so this is why you can always define it later and use it even before you define or declare it so okay let, let's get back to our normal code so here but the good practice is always declare these instance variable first and then use it but even doing the opposite one is okay for us so that's all about the instance variables and all the things that can that an interview can ask i'll put some more questions from interview perspective later on once all the concepts are clear to you so stay tuned for the local variables